Oh my god. I don't like this. Ugh! Hi everyone, it's Sandy and today I am going to be doing a reading vlog slash week in my life. I'm super excited about this particular reading vlog because I was lucky enough to receive an arc of Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. So thank you so much to Simon and Schuster for sending me a copy of this and this is my very first Cassie Clare arc so I am so so excited. I love the Shadowhunter Chronicles, it's one of my all-time favorites so I'm really excited to dive into this book and share my thoughts with all of you. This is the second book to The Last Hours, the first book is called Chain of Gold and The Last Hours is a new Shadowhunter trilogy that follows the children of the characters from the Infernal Devices. And I actually do have a reading vlog for that, so if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on Chain of Gold, then definitely check out that reading vlog. I will have it linked below. I will do my best to avoid spoilers, at least for the beginning of this video, but there will be a point in this reading vlog where I will start getting into spoilers. But don't worry, I will definitely give a warning before I dive into spoilers, but for now it's going to be pretty spoiler free. So today is actually Tuesday. It's February 16th and it is 7-11 and right now I would actually be heading to work in like five minutes but it's been snowing a lot lately and yesterday it was essentially snowing all day and all night. I am required to be in the office for work so I got up at my usual time today and after finishing breakfast around seven o'clock I checked my email just to be sure because I kind of hoped that my boss would let us work from home today and fortunately he did send out that email so I am working from home today and this came after I finished getting ready for work. Tuesdays are actually my busiest slash longest days of the week just because I'm in grad school and I have class every Tuesdays and I usually get off at work at 5 30 and my class doesn't begin till 7 and it takes me about an hour to an hour 15 minutes to get home from work and as soon as I get home from work I'm like immediately scarfing down dinner before class otherwise I'll be like super hungry sitting through class so I'm very excited that like my two hour ish commute is cut out of my day I work from 8 30 to 5 30 and I'll talk more about class later on in the video but in case you didn't know I am in an MSW program I am in my third semester and it's going really well so far and I have some time to kill before I have to actually begin work so what I'm going to be doing right now is doing a little bit of reading from Chain of Iron. Okay, so I'm only like 12 pages into the book so far and it seems that two certain characters who got engaged in Chain of Gold are actually getting married. I'm surprised that it's happening so quickly. For some reason, I just thought that this engagement was going to be prolonged a little bit longer, but turns out they're getting married already. I do really like these two characters together, but I don't love the circumstances concerning the engagement and the marriage. So I'm now on page 33 and that's on chapter two and I've realized that there's a lot that I've forgotten about some of the characters so I feel like I need a refresher but I don't want to have to reread Chain of Gold so I might look up some sort of recap or watch a few like book reviews of Chain of Gold. I'm going to stop reading for now. I do have a little bit of time before I actually have to start work but I do want to chill a little bit more before I start doing that and also need to get my computer set up for that so right now I'm going to change out of these clothes and get into my pajamas essentially because that's just a lot more comfortable and I will talk to you all later. Hi everyone, so it's now one o'clock and I'm about to heat up some leftovers to have lunch because I am getting pretty hungry. Today was a bit more of a frustrating day in terms of technology because for some reason the Outlook app on my computer is not working and I can't sign into any of my emails. It's a lot easier for me to communicate with my coworkers and boss using the Outlook app rather than just signing into Outlook.com. So I've been trying to deal with that and I've been talking to customer support and I just haven't really gone anywhere with that issue. So that is my midday update and I'm going to heat up some fried rice for lunch. It's about 3.30 and you know how earlier I said that I was having trouble with the Outlook app on my desktop? Well, I finally fixed it after uninstalling and reinstalling Office like at least three times and doing a bunch of different steps in between. But I'm really glad that I fixed it because it's going to make emailing so much easier. I have about two hours left in the workday and I don't really have anything that I need to work on right now, but I have a feeling that something might pop up later today. It is 5.30, which means I'm off work. 
I am so happy that I'm finally off work and that I don't have to commute from downtown back to my home. I have class from 7 to 8.30. The class focuses on mental disorders and so one of our textbooks is the DSM-5 which is the Diagnostic Statistical Manual. I'm really enjoying the class and I love the professor. This professor is actually someone I already took and she was my very first professor for grad school so I'm really excited to have her again and I'm really glad that I have time to take a shower, have dinner, and chill a little bit before class begins. I don't think I'll get any more reading done in Chain of Iron tonight but I'll definitely get a little bit more reading done tomorrow when I commute to work because I'm pretty sure we have to be back in the office tomorrow so I'll get more reading done on my commute tomorrow but because I have class tonight reading just isn't a priority at the moment but I am glad that I was able to start the book today it's almost time for class today and I literally just took like a 30 minute nap and that was much needed but I'm so tired and I really want to continue napping but I have class so I'm gonna do that It's about 8 39 i finished class like five minutes ago i do have a group assignment that's due next sunday and we were supposed to have like 45 minutes in class to meet with our group today but lecture itself went a little bit too long and so we only had like 20 minutes it's essentially a case study assignment where we're given like a case study of a person experiencing some mental health issues and we have to use the dsm to diagnose what mental disorder that they have luckily we were able to divide up our roles and i can work on some stuff over the weekend before we meet again in class next Tuesday and hopefully next Tuesday we'll have more time to talk as a group and right now I'm going to start getting ready for bed. Good morning everyone it's about 7 5 and i should definitely be out of my house in like 10 minutes so i'm going to be really quick at vlogging i'm wearing the same shirt that i was wearing yesterday because i didn't get a chance to actually wear it outside i definitely plan on continuing chain of iron on my commute to work and i'm going to be using this book sleeve that i have which is chain of gold theme and there's james Harrendale here on the front or back whatever i got this in the fairy loot chain of gold box so i'm excited to use this to protect my very special arc of chain of iron probably won't be doing a lot of vlogging throughout the day because I'll be in the office but I will talk to y'all soon whenever that is there's so much snow snows everywhere but look at this oh my god I love it this is amazing So it's now 7 p.m. and I kid you not that my commute took an hour and a half. It was very unfortunate because as soon as I got to the train station, the train had just arrived and I had to walk up a bunch of stairs. So I missed the train by like 30 seconds, possibly even less. And the next train didn't come until like 16 minutes later. So I was waiting out in the cold for the train and it just really sucked because it was really cold outside. After I get off the train, I usually walk home from the train station to my house, which is like a 15 minute walk. But because it was so cold, I didn't want to make that walk. And who knows whether people shoveled their sidewalks or not. So I didn't want to have to deal with trudging through the snow. So it took like another 13-ish minutes before the bus arrived. I finally made it home and I am really hungry. So I'm going to have dinner and then take a shower. And then later tonight, I'll update you all on my progress with Chain of Iron. So I just finished eating dinner and I wanted to digest my food a little bit more before I hop into the shower. So I figured now that I talk a little bit about what I've read so far in Chain of Iron, I do think that what I'm saying is still non-spoilery. But if you don't want to risk it and if you haven't read Chain of Gold then definitely don't continue watching because I will be talking about Chain of Gold spoilers. I am really enjoying the book so far but on page 67 it talks about the bracelet and I just need someone to rip that bracelet off of James wrist because I don't want it there and it's bothering me that James has constantly been mentioning that he wants to take off the bracelet but he just doesn't get around to doing it so unless someone physically takes it off of him that bracelet is here to stay but moving on to a more happier slash I guess somewhat emotional note we have a wedding taking place and there is an appearance from Jem who is playing the violin and it was just so emotional like as soon as Jem was mentioned I started 
started like tearing up a little bit just because I love any mentions of Jem, Tessa, and Will. I just really love that and it's very heartwarming to see. So right now I'm on page 94 and I'm really happy with the progress that I've made so far today. It is now Thursday and it's actually 7 15 p.m. I didn't vlog in the morning just because I was kind of in a rush. I basically do the same thing every morning and I didn't want the vlog footage to be repetitive so I decided not to vlog that morning and plus I didn't read anything from Chain of Iron the night before. Now I'm on page 163. I do have to say that there's really not that much action going on in the story. So far the story is very character driven but I am still really enjoying it because I love all these characters. Also I want to talk a little bit about Alistair because he was a character that I didn't really like in Chain of Gold. I especially didn't like him when we were reading those short stories that had him and the Mary Thieves and I believe those short stories were in Tales from Shadowhunter Academy but I feel like now that we're kind of seeing more of him and his interactions with Cordelia and some of the Mary Thieves I'm starting to develop like a soft spot for him. He does seem to regret what he's done. So I'm definitely kind of looking forward and hoping to see more development of his relationships with some of the boys. There was also this one scene between James and Cordelia involving him giving her a necklace and I thought that scene was just so heartwarming and so thoughtful. I really loved it a lot and overall I just really love seeing James and Cordelia together. Tonight is going to be another chill night so I'm going to spend the rest of it just catching up on some YouTube videos. Sometimes I do school stuff during the week after I get home from work but the past two days have just been very long and exhausting. Unfortunately my workload this week isn't a lot but I definitely do plan on getting some school stuff done this weekend. So I just made avocado toast with over easy egg, everything but the bagel seasoning, and a drizzle of honey. I accidentally broke the yolk to one of my eggs so that sucks but it's still a very delicious meal. I'm so glad that the work week is almost over, just have to get through this day and I will let you all know that I probably won't do a lot of vlogging or even reading today because on Fridays after work I hang out with my boyfriend so obviously I want to spend time with him. I know my boyfriend isn't super comfortable with being on camera so obviously I want to respect that and I do want to keep that part of my life more private and personal so I really won't be vlogging in front of him. I'm excited to continue reading Chain of Iron today, I'm gonna head to work and depending on what time I get home today I will either check in later tonight or tomorrow morning. Good morning. Good morning everyone, it is now Saturday, February 20th and today is mostly going to be a school work day for me. I'm taking two classes a semester and earlier this week I talked about one of them which was my mental disorders class. The second class that I'm taking is called Advanced Clinical Assessment and Interviewing. It's different from my mental disorders class because we don't meet on a weekly basis. This was actually supposed to be the first class that I have that where we actually meet in person but due to COVID and everything it has been transitioned to an online class and so if we were to meet in person we would be meeting once a month for three hours. Luckily this weekend I don't have to meet for that class. It'll be the following weekend where I have this class again. I am really enjoying my semester so far. The only slightly annoying thing is that I basically have to do an assignment every single week for both classes. A majority of the assignments are discussion posts. I am honestly so sick and tired of doing discussion posts but fortunately they're not super difficult or time consuming to work on. So today I plan on working on my discussion posts for both classes. I have a case study that I need to work on for my mental disorders class and that's a group assignment so it shouldn't take too long because we're splitting up the different components of the assignment. I do have a lecture to watch for my mental disorders class and that's like about an hour. Fortunately I can like speed up the video which is like really nice because I would hate to have to sit through an hour of a lecture. And the only extra thing that I need to do for my assessment and interviewing class is that I need to complete a quiz. That's not too much that I need to do this weekend but I'm hoping to get through pretty much all of it today. I'm going to be spending most of the day slash most of my morning working on this and you will get to see that. I think I'm going to get started on the quiz. It's a short 10 question multiple choice quiz and it is open notes so I can use a textbook and refer to stuff. All right it took me 16 minutes but I got a 10 out of 10 so I'm happy. 
So right now it's a little bit past 12 and I've just been working on school stuff the entire time. I also took like a little break to kind of look over my taxes and stuff like that just because it's slightly more complicated this year than it has been in previous years. I just finished watching a one hour lecture on anxiety disorders and I've also been working on a short answer question that my professor said is going to show up on the exam. So I just wanted to get that short answer question completed and be more ready to take the exam when that time comes in a few weeks. I finished my discussion post but I don't want to post it on the discussion board yet until probably tomorrow because I do want to kind of look over it a little bit more and see if I can add anything else to it. So right now I'm going to take a bit of a break, watch some videos, and possibly make some lunch soon. It's about 1.45 p.m. and I'm going to take some time to read Chain of Iron. Since I didn't give an update yesterday, I just wanted to say that I'm now on page 194. So obviously I didn't read that much yesterday and the plot is starting to pick up a little bit more. There is a killer going around killing shadow hunters who are on patrol. James have actually been having dreams of these killings taking place and I do kind of feel like that the killer might be a shadow hunter because an Atomist blade was used as the murder weapon and it's also been mentioned multiple times that it doesn't seem to be that a demon was responsible for these killings and I'm definitely trying to figure out who could be responsible for that. It's also this new side character who was introduced. Her name is Philomena. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit suspicious of Philomena because she just kind of shows up out of nowhere and she appears randomly at different scenes. Even if she's not the one responsible for the killings, I feel like there's definitely more to her character because I feel like Cassie wouldn't just introduce this new side character if she wasn't important in one way or another. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue reading for a little bit. So it's about three o'clock right now and I just took a 30 minute nap. I was just reading Chain of Iron and I just felt tired because I didn't get that much sleep last night. So I felt like I just needed to nap. But now I'm going to go get ready and go see my boyfriend again. So that pretty much wraps up my vlogging for the day. Hi everyone. So it is now Sunday and it is 12, 18 in the afternoon. And I woke up like around seven o'clock, which is very early and I did not get a lot of sleep. Pretty much this morning, I went grocery shopping with my parents. We went to Costco and H Mart and I didn't really vlog any of that. I basically have a 50 minute video to watch about PTSD. So I'm going to watch that and take some notes on the video. And that's pretty much the only schoolwork that I want to get done today. It's about 4.30 right now and I just took a glorious one hour nap and I'm feeling a lot more refreshed right now. So I'm ready to dive back into Chain of Iron. I did bring this book with me to go grocery shopping with my parents. So I was reading this in the car and I'm on page 286. And I think this is now a good point to start getting into spoilers with the story. So if you have not read Chain of Iron, or if you have not read up to page 286 at least, then I definitely recommend exiting out of this video. Otherwise you will be spoiled. Spoilers in three, two, one. So about 40 pages earlier, we have a scene with Grace and Tatiana and Tatiana took Grace to some place and she was basically instilled with the ability to influence men. So that kind of explains Grace's ability to have control over the men in her life. And then we have a scene where Grace and Lucy go to see Malcolm Fade and they want to talk about raising the dead. And if you've read The Dark Artifices, you know how that turned out. It is a little bit alarming that Grace and Lucy have reached out to Malcolm Fade, and I don't think that this is a good idea, but because The Dark Artifices is more of a present timeline, whereas The Last Hours takes place in the past, obviously, I just don't think Malcolm Fade is going to be providing much help to them anyways. But obviously with Jesse being a ghost, somehow he is going to come back to life and I have no clue how that is going to happen. Now I'm at the point where we find out that Cordelia's father, Elias, has been murdered. And James seems to think that he might somehow be responsible for these murders, especially considering that he's having dreams of them taking place. So that's pretty much where I'm at right now and I'm going to continue reading. I just finished a chapter that follows Grace's point of view and basically Tatiana gives her the task to make James fall in love with her and apparently her ability to influence men does not work on James so I feel like this is where the bracelet comes in but I do wonder why Grace's ability doesn't work on James the same way that it does on other men and also I just hate Tatiana she is the worst and I'm definitely not looking forward to seeing more of her and what she's up to throughout the books 
so Matthew finally told someone, particularly Cordelia, what happened with the truth potion and how that resulted in Charlotte having a miscarriage. Matthew is just so precious and I feel so so bad for him. We know that Matthew has a drinking problem. Matthew's just not okay. He's going through a lot and he's been keeping this to himself for so long and I'm so so glad that he finally told someone about it. So it is like 9 10 p.m. I'm about to go to bed pretty soon but just to give a little update on where I'm at with Chain of Iron. I'm currently on page 332. I don't really have anything new to add regarding my thoughts. Story is definitely getting really good and there was a scene where Grace shows up at James's place and she basically compels him to kiss her and I hated that scene that just made me so mad. Oh my god, someone needs to get that bracelet off of James. So it is about 6.50 p.m. I just got home from work and I'm about to have dinner. I'm having rice with eggplant and it's really good. I do have one school thing that I need to get done today, but it should take pretty quickly because my professor basically gave us a case study reading that we're going to discuss in class tomorrow. I wish she didn't give this to us the day before class and that she provided it during the weekend, but it shouldn't take that long. So I'm gonna do that after dinner. So I'm now on page 418 and one of the main things that I wanted to talk about is the kissing scene between James and Cordelia because that was very steamy. Basically, James told Cordelia that Grace stopped by the house and that he kissed her. And Cordelia basically says something along the lines of, because you broke our agreement, I want something in exchange and I want you to kiss me. I just really love James and Cordelia and I just can't wait till we get to the point where that bracelet is off him and he realizes that he does truly love Cordelia. And then later on, we have a scene where Thomas has gone out to go patrolling on his own and he encounters Lillian Highsmith body and unfortunately it was the wrong place wrong time and thomas was found at the scene of the crime by the other patrolling shadow hunters and then later alistair basically shows up and says that thomas couldn't have been the one responsible and it was because alistair has been following thomas as he's been patrolling on his own just to ensure that thomas is safe and how precious is that if i could describe my reaction with one emoji it would be the emoji with the puppy dog eyes like oh my gosh that is literally the sweetest thing i'm about to go shower right now but i definitely want to get a little bit more reading done tonight usually i don't do readings after work because i'm tired but the story is just getting really good and i want to continue reading it's currently 8 50 and i just read about 20 pages into chain of iron and i'm now on page 443 things are definitely getting really interesting i love that magnus is back and he's going to help james spy on belial in his dreams so that will be very interesting to see i'm pretty tired right now so i'm just going to call it a night with reading and i may or may not check in tomorrow because tomorrow is tuesday which is a long day for me i'll definitely get some reading done but i'm just not sure if i'll have the energy or time to like sit down and vlog it's tuesday it's now 6 40 p.m and i got home from work like 10 minutes ago and i'm about to dive into dinner my dad actually made sushi today so I'm very excited to devour this plate. I have my mental disorders class in like 20 minutes so I'm going to dive into my dinner really quickly and start getting ready for class. Good morning everyone. I did not vlog at all last night after class. We also did not have much time to work as a group for our upcoming assignment that's due this Sunday. So I had to spend some time after class to work on that assignment and to chat a little bit more with my group members. Yesterday was just a really long day and by the time that I was done I was just really exhausted and really wasn't in the vlogging mood. So I figured that I'd vlog this morning and I I know I haven't really been vlogging my day-to-day -day life the past few days. I just feel like my Mondays to Fridays are pretty much the same so I kind of stopped showing what I've been doing in the mornings because my mornings are really repetitive and then also my nights are really repetitive because I come home, I eat, I have dinner, I shower, and then I essentially get ready to go to bed. I just feel like that's not super entertaining to watch especially if you're seeing it repetitively back to back. I'm almost done with Chain of Iron. I don't know if I can finish it today but I will definitely try. Right now I'm on page 524. We have a scene between Thomas and Alistair who are basically stuck in jail together and they have a chat and then they end up kissing and I just love Thomas and Alistair. I feel like they're probably like my second favorite couple. James and Cordelia are probably number one but I just really love Thomas and Alistair and I'm so excited to see more of them together. And then we have a scene of Christopher at the Institute I believe and he's doing some experiments examining that Demon Stele thing and then Grace shows up and she basically helps Christopher discover that the Demon Stele is able to remove a rune from a 
shadow hunter and then transfer it to another shadow hunter that definitely makes so much sense considering that all the people that have died so far have missing runes and i can't believe that i didn't think of that sooner in terms of the ability of that demon stelly that they found and it also makes so much sense that later on we have lucy who discovers that all these missing runes have been transferred to jesse so i feel like things are starting to come together and then we have a scene between james and cordelia and james had just tried to go to edom with magnus but that didn't really work out and now he's back in like reality and the bracelet breaks and falls off of his wrist and after that it says james's head snapped back cordelia saw his eyes fully black the whites gone utterly as he spasmed once and crumpled motionless to the ground and i'm just like oh my god what is going on and then the last place that i left off was finding out that a gate is going to be open for leviathan to enter the world there wasn't really a lot of action throughout the book but now we're at this intense action scene and i'm really really nervous at what's going to happen i also forgot to mention this earlier in the vlog but i'm actually buddy reading this book with trin and tiffany i will have their youtube channels linked below trin has actually already finished the book so i asked her to describe the ending with emojis and these are the three emojis that she chose so i'm definitely a little bit worried about what the ending will entail it is now 6 47 p.m and i just got home from work i'm now on page 584 of chain of iron and i'm so close to being done so we find out that belial has been possessing jesse and is the one responsible for all the killings obviously we knew that it had something to do with belial but i didn't expect that it was jesse being possessed so that was definitely pretty shocking and we also find out that lilith disguised herself as waylon the smith so cordelia is actually the paladin for lilith rather than Waylon the smith obviously that is very concerning and when we had that whole scene between belial james lilith cordelia and then lucy shows up and she obviously doesn't want cordelia to kill belial because he's in jesse's body so that would harm jesse and obviously kill him even though jesse is pretty much already dead i don't think cassie would kill lucy but in that moment i was pretty terrified for her life but i'm really glad that it didn't have to come to that where lucy is injured or killed in the process so now lucy has plans with Mal Welcome to help resurrect Jesse and she invites Grace to tag along. They're all gonna go somewhere away from London essentially to practice necromancies. I don't love the situation that Lucy has gotten herself into. I really wish we had more moments between Lucy and Cordelia in this book because they are meant to be parabatized and obviously they weren't entirely truthful to one another and even now Lucy isn't telling Cordelia what is actually going on. If she did tell Cordelia, Cordelia would try to stop her. So that's pretty much where I'm at with the story. I'm going to go eat dinner shower and hopefully have some time to read and finish this book before i have to go to bed all right so it's almost 8 30 and i got caught up doing some school stuff which i wasn't really planning on spending that much time doing school stuff tonight but now i'm going to finally try to finish chain of iron i have like 70 pages left did lucy just bring jesse back to life um i think so oh my god she did that she really brought jesse back to life so lucy just faints and jesse is physically carrying her oh my god so cordelia and james are having this moment and cordelia says that james doesn't feel about her the same way that he feels about grace and james agrees and he basically gets interrupted because i feel like he's going to follow up by saying that yes he doesn't feel about her the same way that he felt about grace but that's because he never actually loved grace he just believed he was in love with her but with cordelia he actually loves her he's actually in love with her and i just need him to say that i just need cordelia to hear that and the worst thing about this interruption is that grace shows up so i'm definitely not happy about that okay i really hope that Cordelia is able to hear this conversation that James is having with Grace. What the fuck is happening? Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? So basically all Cordelia saw was Grace throwing herself at James and that was it. Oh my god. I don't like this. Ugh. I really hope that James is able to find Cordelia we just have a moment between Willa and Tessa and it's so cute I'm on chapter 29 right now and Cordelia is basically running away and we're in her perspective Cordelia is going to see Matthew and I love Matthew but I really don't want another love triangle involving parabatize so it seems like Matthew and Cordelia are heading off to Paris 
I really appreciate and I like that Matthew is able to like acknowledge that he has feelings for Cordelia and to tell her about it but it doesn't seem like he's going to be actually acting on his feelings. It seems like their relationship is going to be platonic and I really hope it stays that way. Oh my god I'm on the epilogue. And so now I'm done with Chain of Iron. I love this book. I love these characters. I don't really have anything else to add. I mean, you've all heard my thoughts on the book throughout this video. My memory card just filled up, so I had to replace my memory card. I have no clue what's going to happen next. This book definitely wasn't as heartbreaking as I thought it probably would have been, but Cassie still knows how to hit you in the feels and mess with your emotions. And I'm definitely looking forward to reading the third book whenever that comes out. Thank you so much for watching this reading vlog. And I also hope you enjoyed seeing some of the other stuff that I vlogged about in my day-to-day -day life. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!